Joining us now is Liz Hernandez. She has an active wear company and she came all the way from Los Angeles. Welcome to the show. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me. So we found out we were at the same place last night and didn't even know it. Because I said, usually when guests fly in from anywhere, I like to have dinner with them ahead of time. Uh, but I was at Tribeca and you said... I was also at Tribeca. Um, yeah, funny story. Were you at Bowery or...? Um, I was in four different places yesterday. So I did a red carpet where I interviewed Steve Buscemi, who's going to be on the show. And uh, Richard Gere was there, which was great. So I saw the listener. Then I was at another destination, another de destination. Then John uh, Bon Jovi showed up. So it was a whole night. And then Heather Graham. So oh, there's cool. a lot going on with the Tribeca Film Festival. I just right? found out about it. I it's had amazing. no idea. Yeah, It's no, a for sure. really great festival. Uh, started after 9-11. And it just has grown over the years. Mm -hmm. And this year, um, about 70 of the performances or the films were uh, either women written, directed, or produced. I love that. And I know that's important to you too, because yes. I was when I was doing my research on uh, Lazy Hype, I realized that you're passionate about those things, right? Very so you much. went out with your friends to Tribeca last night, because yes. you said a lot of your friends are at working where? Nickelodeon, Fox. Um, so I'm in apparel, obviously, but I get inv I'm invited to their things. And so, yeah, that's how, kind of how I ended up there. And you're working with a great influencer, uh, Katie. Let's talk about that collab that you're doing with her. Yeah, Katie Austin. Um, she was recently a Sports Illustrator model, uh, big uh, TikToker. Typically, the business structure would be private label for fitness studios. Uh, so here in New York, we're at Hit House, Grit Boxing, Yoga Spark, uh, Club Pilates. And she kind of found out about us through those gyms because she's big in uh, health and wellness. And so she reached out and then that kind of opened up some other opportunities to work with influencers through private label. So it's exciting because we're all about wellness um, and more like wellness for the earth and the environment. And these influencers and these gyms are about, you know, your physical wellness. So I feel like mental, physical together, and you it know. feels good on your skin. It, it feels good. So yeah. how did you create this? How did you get into this space? It's not an easy space to break into, correct? Yes. Okay. I was living in San Francisco and it's so, um, it's like an innovative city. And I realized that sustainability was huge there and it was all over billboards, et cetera, but I didn't know too much about it. I started educating myself. I then started realizing that I couldn't afford a lot of it because it would all be $200, $100, et cetera. And living in San Francisco is costly. <laughs> so um, I thought, you know, I'm already in the apparel industry. Why don't I create something, define my own definition of what sustainability means to me? um and start you know figuring out how to build this and so i did i wanted to make it affordable i wanted to make it made in the u.s recycled materials recycled packaging i wanted to make sure that the dyes were all clean non-toxic either through sublimation which i had to learn about um, or just natural dyes so yes i was literally hand dyeing in my household in the kitchen sink a lot of the garments <laughs> testing them out in the very beginning um i You're like this looks like rotten carrots this is not going to be a good color right? yeah <laughs> i later realized that i had it to like actually like you know get, once i built the samples etc like get it built out um i couldn't afford to live in san francisco anymore because pandemic had occurred and so I moved to Los Angeles, and so now it's um, all being made in Los Angeles in a small manufacturing facility where it's fair wages, good air conditioning, all the things that you I care right. for. Yes. Um, and yeah, so it started in San Francisco, but now it's in Los Angeles. And you have many different gyms. How many gyms now have signed up to carry your or boutiques? A hundred. You have a hundred? Yes. My first big account was Hot It Yoga. They're like family now because I've just watched them grow um, tremendously. Every year they're opening up like five new studios, three new studios. Um, and they really believed in me in the very beginning. They were my first big account. And yeah, I think they know they're, they're like family. And that's the vibe I like to have with all my studios. And, and you thrived through it all, like you moved, you had to find this out and find that out, but you made the answers possible. I survived. <laughs> okay, no, you survived. I said thrived. Did thrive too big of a word for you right now? I don't know. You're here. You're here on CBS. You're here with me. You must be doing something right. Uh, so lazy hype. I like that. You know? Yes. Humble. I'm going to call you humble hype. You're oh, humble thank hype. you. That's you so did, sweet. Because your company, you're doing a lot of great things. 
um, you're you know breaking barriers, you're Latina, and you're just you're out there. Good for you. Do you have yeah. a favorite like? Do you have a favorite like garment from the early days that is like kind of like still your favorite? Like, did you like frame it? Is it hanging on your wall or? So the biker shorts. Yes. Um, our classic biker okay. shorts. I'm short. Um, I'm also curvy. So it was very important for me to make something that was like the right length so that my legs wouldn't look bigger. <laughs> and also that, um, you know, really sculpted my body. And that so far has been the best seller. And it's also my favorite piece. It's your favorite piece. I think I'm only five, five one and a half. I, used to, no, I need I, to get you some I biker was shorts. Five two. I was five two. I think I started shrinking. <laughs> me too. Year. That's how I feel. So I'm like, hmm, I might need your uh, bike shorts, Liz. Um, I thank you for joining us. You're pleasant and fun and your company is doing really well. And it's exciting for me to have someone that is so vested in the same things that I care about. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people care about that. And you were saying that you learned the process of what has to happen for like recycled materials, right? I basically educated myself. Yeah. I go to YouTube a lot to learn new things. Is that what you did? I mean, YouTube, I looked at all the competitors to see what they were doing. One of the things that kind of bothered me that really determined, made me determine that I wanted to build it in the US was that a lot were claiming they were sustainable, but actually importing and exporting. And so you're actually damaging the, like the planet more with the carbon footprint that you're causing by either shipping something, you know, across and then back and then from the distribution center to the consumer or flying it across. So I said, no, I need to keep everything domestic okay. and get that out. Yeah. Well, you know what? No matter where things are in the globe, as long as we're doing good things that are helping families, you know, grow or whatever, I'm all about that. So Absolutely. I thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, and I'm looking forward to wearing a pair of your um, biker shorts. Yes. I'm down with that. And I bet you are going to want those biker shorts too. So stay tuned for more. We're living it up right here with Liz Hernandez.